Hey, how's it going guys? And welcome to video number five of the base section of this online course. Now, in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you what an instrument rack is and how you can route some of the configurations in Serum into an instrument rack. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna come down to Serum in the bottom right just here, and we're gonna right click and do group. Now, what that's gonna give you is it's gonna give you a chain just here and it's gonna give you eight assignable macros. Now, what we wanna do um, is we want to get some of the controls in Serum, like maybe the cutoff, or usually I use the macros inside Serum. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just map one of these macros really quickly uh, for a bit of cutoff filter modulation. And we'll label that cutoff. Awesome. So this is what that's now doing. Increasing the cutoff. So we'll make that a little bit more drastic just for effect. There we go, fantastic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so that we can control this dial using this macro and we don't have to have Serum open while we're doing that. So the way that we can do that is we click on this little arrow just here and we click on configure. Now it's telling us to add parameters by clicking on them in the plugins window. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna click on macro one just here and then click off of configure. So now we can control macro one. As I'm moving this, you can see the cutoff moving inside Serum. Awesome. Now what we can do is we can close that window and we can click on map here. Oh, actually probably not close that. We want to click on this and then map that to macro number one. And then we can click off of that. Fantastic, and now we can close that. So if we rename this, cut off. We can close down Serum, we can shut this off, but what we're able to do is control that cutoff by using the macro as opposed to having to have Serum open. Now you can map any of the parameters inside Serum at to be controlled by these macros uh, as long as it's a dial which is really really cool so you could apply it to the level of the sub you could apply it to the cutoff you could apply it to the volume absolutely anything you want inside here which is really really cool and one of the other cool things about these instrument racks is the fact that if you've got something like a launch pad or an ableton push then you have really really quick hands-on control over these macros um, which is so, so handy if you're more of a hands-on person. You can turn the dial and hear Serum's cut off opening, which is a really cool thing to be able to do. So in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about how I stay in key when I'm writing bass lines. And this is going to be super, super helpful whether you know music theory or not.